Train Lover 1974 presents Henry and Percy's Night Runs. Henry was being steamed up for the Flying Kipper. That's when he noticed Percy was gone. Huh, where's Percy? He's taking the mail. Oh, yeah. I didn't think he got up this late. Henry steamed out of his shed and got onto the turntable. And he was soon being turned around. Ah, tonight's gonna be a nice night. <laughs> Henry backed down to the back down. The switches were set, and Henry set off to the harbor. Tonight was indeed a busy night. There were more fish than usual. Some vans, some extra vans were attached, and the brake van did seem a bit old too. Soon Henry was backing down to the flying kipper. <laughs> The guard blew his whistle. All ready to go, Henry? Yep. Away we go! Come along. Come along, said Henry, as the trucks followed behind. Oh, no. Henry always loved the flying kipper. It was one of his favorite jobs. Thundering down the line, doing the wind in his face. It was the best job an engine could ask for. Well, unless you don't count James in the Gordon. Henry's first stop was coming up. Wellsworth. Percy was already there. He was dropping off the last of the mail before heading to Vickerstown. Henry soon pulled in. Oh, hello, Percy. Hey, Henry. What are you doing? I'm dropping off the last of the mail before heading straight to Vickerstown. That's a bit of a long shot. I would have thought you had more stops to make. Nope, I'm just picking up a bit of mail that's due to head to Vickerstown. Ah. Well, how's your kipper run going? Good, I just have to stop at a few more stations, then it's off to Vickerstown. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, um... Do you think you can help me out, Percy? Um, sure, what is it? The kipper's a bit long tonight, and there are no engines out to help me, so I was wondering, could you give me a bunk up the hill? I don't know. With your vans and my mail cars, I'm not sure I'll be able to help you. Just leave them here, then. Um, okay, then. Percy got them. Percy uncoupled himself. Percy uncoupled from the mail cars. And Henry prepared to head off. Alright, Percy. I'll whistle to you. All right, my time to shine. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> the cattle cage set off towards the hill. Percy wasn't used to this type of work, but he was sure able to try. All right, Percy, give it everything you got. The hill was steep, but Henry and Percy managed on. But the train was starting to get heavier because Percy was not used to this. Whew. I need to back off a bit. Whew. Percy, the train's getting heavier. I'm starting to lose grip. And Henry was. Uh-oh. Percy. I'm slipping. Percy was pushing. Percy, take it easy on the brake van. I'm trying. Uh-oh, the van's starting to break. What? Jump clear. Oh, dear. Percy? Percy, what happened? Ow. Um, don't worry, Percy. I'm sure help will come soon. Help did come soon. Boko was woken up from Titmus to get the breakdown crane. 
But the crane wasn't available, so Boko had to try to pull Percy back on the rails, and it thankfully worked. Henry continued on, but sadly had to leave one of the vans behind because it was derailed. Now with the train less heavy, and with Boko's help, Henry was able to continue on to Vickerstown. But Percy's front was badly damaged, so this meant that he couldn't continue on with the mail train, especially since his lamps were damaged in the crash. This meant was that Percy could not continue on without lamps, because he needed head coats. Head coats are what was that let the sick woman know what type of train it was. Light train, empty train, or full train. And with Percy's lamps destroyed, this meant was he didn't, nobody would know what type of head coat he was wearing. Boko, who, ha, who decided to take some, who had some lamps with him, put some on him and he offered to take the mail train for Percy. Let's see. It was just a straight shot to Vickerstown anyway. But first, Boko took Percy back to Titmus. Boko soon dropped him off and went to go get the mail. And soon Henry, and soon Percy, who thankfully had still a little bit of steam left, pulled onto the turntable and was able to pull into his shed. An hour later, Henry returned. He had finished up with his run. Hey, Percy. Oh, hey, Henry. Um, I just wanted to apologize. Guys, I didn't mean for this to happen. No, no, it's my fault. I wasn't pulling. I wasn't pushing hard enough. Well, I wasn't pulling hard enough. I forgive you, Henry. I forgive you. you should thank you, Percy. Let's just agree to never tell the others about this. Okay. Boko then just came back. Boko, if you tell any of the other engines about this, I will swear to God. Alright, alright, I won't tell anybody. Don't especially tell Bill and Ben. I won't, I won't. As Boko pulled on to the turntable. And soon got turned and soon parked into his shed. Well, good night, Percy. Good night, Henry. Henry backed into his shed. Henry and Percy still remain good friends to this day. The end.